Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum. So, we continue with uh, chapter number 2, part 2. Okay, so the molecular force in vertical structure. Okay, so the next one is the charge dipole interaction or the Van der Waal uh, interaction. Okay, so uh, this is also in our EM1 or in, or in physics. Okay, so uh, we have charge dipole and dipole dipole and just uh, ion dipole okay so uh, if we have uh, this uh, figure okay so if we can uh, model this figure so the the potential energy for this uh, charge and dipole so this are dipole uh, interaction will be in this equation u equal to uh, this one and then the finally we are we're going to have q prime q a cos theta over var epsilon r squared minus a squared for cos squared theta okay so these are the so uh, so we can prove this okay prove, prove this but um, since we are we have a lot of thing to do so we can assume that these are correct so if but if you are uh, you like you can try to prove this from this equation so we're going to get uh, this equation so uh, here is for when r less than a okay so r is less than a okay but is r is greater than a so we are going to get this equation okay the potential okay the separation of the um, dipole or the separation separation of the charge and the dipole is greater than the separation of dipole okay so we have u equal to minus q d cos theta over bar epsilon r squared okay so where d is equal a q uh, prime defined as the dipole moment Okay, so what we can say about this equation is that for this charge dipole potential energy is that uh, the charge dipole potential energy depend on a higher inverse power of distance. Okay, so when R increase, okay, when R increase, U decrease. Okay, the potential will decrease, meaning that the charge dipole attraction will not play a major role in this molecular force. Okay, and the direction is a shorter in range because the inverse square function decreases more rapid D. Okay, so it's only or the charge and the dipole will only interact when it is in the uh, shorter range. Okay, so kalau di terpisah jauh, kita akan dapat ada this contribution from this charge dipole interaction. Okay, so here, this one is a charge dipole interaction again, but in this case, here we say that this Q prime, Q prime is parallel with this charge molecule. Okay, so for that, we can say when theta equal to zero and when R less than A, so we are going to get uh, this equation okay theta equals zero this is one one so one r minus one r so we have this equation okay so these are for the interaction in, in parallel okay and uh, for the protein okay so these are for our protein Reaction. Interaction for dipole with fixed orientation, the folded protein, the carbonyl group of polypeptide have substitute dipole moment and their electrostatic interaction make an important energetic domination to the stability of an alpha helix. Okay, so you can see that this, because of this charge dipole interaction, so we have stability of the alpha helix. Molecule, but molecule interacting in solution can rotate and the force will vary with this orientation. So this one meaning that. Uh, if here we can say that 
sum uh, with this equation, sum with this equation, and sum with this equation. So we need to add both three to get this uh, charge dipole interaction uh, potential. Okay. Okay. So necessary to average over all orientation. Allowing for rotation not only weaken the interaction by allowing both probable and unprobable interaction, it also shortens the range of the interaction. Okay, so I mean that this only uh, short range interaction and it easily uh, be cut out when we have this rotation. Okay, so the Boltzmann average is used to calculate the mean energy of the interaction between the two freely rotating dipole. Okay, with dipole moment D1 and D2. So this one for, these are supposed to dipole-dipole interaction. U equal to minus D1 squared D2 squared over 3 bar S1 squared R6 KT. So we assume that energy of changing interaction is small compared to the KT. The dipole-dipole interaction does not restrict rotation very much. Exception is water because water has particularly large dipole moment. Okay, so so these are supposed to be dipole dipole interaction. Okay, and the next one is the, the induced dipole. Okay, so this dipole dipole interaction. So we can uh, use this calculation or use this formula to calculate this potential energy for the induced dipole. So molecule can be polarized by an electrical field. So if we introduce an electrical field, or kalau kita ada dekat sebelah talian elektrik, so we have electrical field. So it will reduce in induced dipole moment. Molecule either have positive charge, negative charge, or polar will attract a neutral nuclear as a result of this induction. So the induced dipole moment is D equal to alpha E. So, alpha is polarity of a particular molecule, and E is the electrical field. Okay, so here we can see that if we have this, uh, the the angle, so U R U R bar epsilon is equal to minus Q D. Okay, so cos theta. Or we can also have minus alpha Q squared over bar epsilon R4. So D is equal to alpha E, E equal to Q over bar epsilon R squared. And cos theta is equal to 1. Okay, so you assume that cos theta equal to 1. Okay, so the interaction permanent di between permanent dipole and induced dipole is equal to this equation. Okay, so this equation. So we can... Uh, include the the potential energy for this induced dipole okay so from this equation what we can say is that the increasing inverse power in r can be seen as a higher order electrostatic interaction r related okay so r r let's see r increase so this one the potential energy will also decrease will decrease okay so next is the cation pi interaction okay so we have here this potassium these are cation and these are the pi pi bond okay so this cation will interact with this pi pi bond okay when the ring so when so here we can see that when a, a cation approach an aromatic ring, there will be a strong attraction. Okay, so this one interact with this. So we have the interaction. So lithium uh, binding energy 3, 3 kilo calorie, 28 and 19 kilo calorie per mole. Okay, so this these are smaller. Smaller ion binding more tightly because they can approach more closely to this uh, pi bond. Okay, so uh, this one will also keep the uh, molecule in contact. K 
Okay, so here the cation pulling the aromatic ring and inducing a dipole moment. And aromatic ring has a non-uniform charge distribution, so it will produce uh, this, uh, this attracting this electron move around. So it will also attract this cat ion. Okay, so uh, these are the example. The amino acid phenylalanine, tyrosine, and tryptophan have aromatic side chain with the capacity of for cat ion by interaction. Okay, so uh, the protein of this phenylalanine, tyrosine, and tryptophan will uh, give the contribution for this cat ion by interaction. Okay, they often uh, appear in binding site for cation ligand and substrate. Okay. So here you can see that cation 5 minus 12.5 minus 5.5 53 minus 2.2. So here you can see that this is high minus 53 2.2. So con the conclusion cation interaction are stronger in water than the electrostatic interaction between monovalent ion. Okay, so this is minus 5. Minus 5.5. Okay, so we need a lot more energy to separate this cation with and this uh, aromatic side chain. Okay, so next is the dispersion force. Okay, so the charge distribution of a molecule fluctuate rapidly with time. Okay, it's the charge distribution ion of a molecule fluctuate. Okay, ataupun Kalau dalam molekul tu, dia jadi uh, dipole, dia jadi, dia ada terayon, ada yang tak terayon. Okay, so this division will fluctuate with time. So if at any instant, there will be a transient dipole moment. When two molecules are near one another, the fluctuation in dipole moment will sometimes lead to an attraction and sometimes to reflection. Okay, <coughs> two molecules. So here we can say that hujung dengan hujung. Kalau hujung, dua-dua hujung yang berdekatan adalah uh, negatif. So we have the repulsion. Kalau satu hujung positif, satu hujung negatif. So we have then attraction. Okay, so we can also try to prove this but without any proofs. These are the interaction or the potential energy uh, provided by this distribution force. U equal to minus 1 over R6, alpha 1, alpha 2, over 3 and 4, I1, I2, over I1 plus I2. So uh, alpha 1, alpha 2 is probability of two interacting molecules. I1 and I2 ionization energy and is the index of the medium. Okay. So we have uh, this equation. <coughs> so what we can say about this? So the refractive index of the medium appear in this equation because it reflects the response of the medium to very rapid change in the in electric field. So this one, refractive uh, index. And the distribution force is much stronger than interaction involving rotating permanent Therefore, okay, so this are uh, greater than this uh, rotating permanent depot. But uh, so you know that all uh, contributing this uh, for the total potential energy. Okay, so the dispersion force. So we can see this uh, just the, our London force. Okay, so these are repulsion. These are Attraction, so this one plus this one, we have uh, this potential or London force energy. Okay. <coughs> so next we have this hydrophobic force. Okay, hydrophobic force. So from here we can see that from Chang. Dissolution of non-polar solute, solute. So delta H less than zero, 
delta S less than 0. So, delta G is greater than 0. So, it, meaning that the hydrocarbon is separate separately in this one and this one. But when delta H is greater than 0 and delta S uh, greater than 0, so the free give energy is less than 0. So, you can see that these two uh, hydrocarbon will come together and to produce the this hydrophobic force. Because more hydrogen bonds are broken than form. Okay? <coughs> so, what we can say about this hydrophobic force, that is when the temperature increase, entropy increase, we know the entropy increase, move, movement is increased, so hydrophobic force also increase. So, entropy driven at a low temperature, around room temperature, and enthalpy driven at higher temperature, near the boiling point of the water. So, become stronger as ions are added to the solution. So, adding salt to reduce the solubility of a non-polar molecule in water. Okay, so, become stronger ion when ion are added. Okay, so I salt is Na plus Cl minus. So the hydrocarbon or kalau contohnya kalau minyak minyak akan lebih ber, ber, bertumpu kepada satu atau ataupun jadi satu kumpulan yang besar. So next is the hydration force. Okay, so water removal is necessary to bring two hydrophilic surface close together. So, there is an effective repulsion. This force is known as the hydration force. Okay, so kalau kita nak dekatkan uh, molekul yang merah, merah ni bersama, jadi kita kena, we, we need to take up the water uh, between these two uh, molecule, this one. Okay, so... Uh, these are the hydration force. Hydrophilic surface are often charged, so one would expect electrostatic force to play a greater role. For lipid bilayer, electrostatic interaction dominate only for bilayer separation of greater than only 25 Armstrong. Okay, so this one, 25 Armstrong and greater, so we have this hydrophilic force. At a closer distance, ionic strength does not have much of an effect, indicating that the hydration force has assumed this. So, jak kalau jauh, hydrophilic uh, electrostatic interaction. B kalau dekat, these are already hydration force. So macam uh, macam juga kita dalam nuclear physics. Okay, so kalau kita uh, jauh, these are uh, atomic. Kalau dah dekat, jadi jadi akan jadi nuclear. nuclear force. Okay. So, next is the hydrogen bond. Okay. So, uh, as we know, the hydrogen bond will do the uh, bonding between these two molecules. Okay. So, hydrogen bond is hydrogen bond atom. Uh, hydrogen atom share its electron with two bonding atom. Hydrogen bond is electrostatic rather than covalent. Resulting from the dipole movement of the interaction group, hydrogen bond lengths are generally in the range of 2.5 to 3 Armstrong. Okay, so this length is 2.5 uh, 3 Armstrong. Greater than that, there will be no hydrogen bond. <coughs> okay, so uh, these are the energy of the hydrogen bond formation for this, uh, this interaction. Okay, so we have uh, this. Uh, enthalpy energy. So the weakest hydrogen bond is bond involving aliphatic hydrocarbon. Are stronger when more electronegative atom are involved. Okay, so we have this. Okay, so what we can say about this hydrogen water in a uh, hydrogen bond in water, a negative chain in volume with melting, a high dielectric constant, a high melting point. 
a high freezing point and a high heat capacity okay because of the hydrogen bond in the water so water will have these properties so the next one is the steric repulsion okay so two object cannot occupy the same space at the same time and as a result it is a steric repulsion okay so macam mana contohnya karbon 1 dan karbon 2 so kalau karbon 1 nak masuk uh, nak ambil tempat karbon 2 so karbon 2 kita uh, kena tolak karbon 2 daripada tempat dia ataupun kalau contohnya kalau kita ada satu kerusi ada dua orang so kalau yang tengah berdiri nak nak duduk dekat tempat uh, dekat kerusi tu dia perlu tolak Orang yang sedang berada di kursi itu keluar supaya dia boleh duduk. Okay, so this one is the origin is the force Pauli execution principle. We state that two electron cannot have the same quantum state. Okay, so we have this uh, Leonard Jones potential. Okay, so using this equation. <coughs> Okay, so here these are the Leonard Jones potential. So you can see there a strong at this point, so a strong repulsive force are less than uh, sigma. This one is the best one, the the best uh, separation energy at energy minimum. This one and these are the attraction force, weak attraction. Okay, so we have this equation using this Leonard Jones uh, potential. Okay, so that's all for this chapter number two. Thank you.